Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to do a quick walkthrough of how to set up your first bot with the new Scavenger version 2.0. Uh, you can see the, the landing page. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go to scavengerbot.io and uh, if you don't already have an account, just hit try it now and register. And it's going to bring you to a dashboard like this after you complete the sign up. And uh, it's going to probably seem a little blinker than this because you won't have any bots going. But basically, this is the main dashboard after you log in. You're going to see a couple things here. Uh, you're going to see my account. You're going to see the terms of service and the disclaimer, uh, which it's going to prompt you to look through. So make sure you understand all the risks of running a trading bot, especially on a le leverage exchange. Uh, and if you're not familiar with the leverage exchange, we highly recommend you do your research on how to use that first because this is not something uh, that was designed for people that don't have any experience. So, you know, we highly recommend that if you don't have experience trading or with leverage exchanges, you educate yourself on that before uh, getting into this first. Uh, secondly, you can see over here, you have an account, you know, Bitcoin price, all the details happening in the 24 hours. And uh, if you hover over your username, you're going to see affiliate management account, uh, a link for the Discord uh, through support, password, all that kind of stuff, invoices and credit, which will show up every Sunday. And uh, they're payable through here. And then you're going to see over here the bot management. So today we're just going to show you how to quickly set up a bot on the test net. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to bot management. And uh, this is for BitMEX. In the future, we're going to have additional exchanges. And you can see I already have two uh, bots set up here. Um, but uh, right now, we're just going to go over the how to set up for a BitMEX account. So the first thing you're going to do is go into the BitMEX uh, testnet.bitmex.com and uh, sign up for an account, send some test uh, XBT over from a BitMEX, BitMEX testnet, sorry, Bitcoin testnet faucet and uh, then go to your account and security settings and API keys. Now you're gonna see a bunch of API keys here at the moment. These are all for testing. And uh, then you're gonna go back to Scavenger. So quickly hit add bot and you're gonna see before adding your bot, please ensure that you have created your API key with the type order. And we have an example here. All right, so what we're gonna do is come over here. We're gonna say scav. Just call it scav and we're gonna set it to order and then create our key. So there we go. I always copy this secret first. We're gonna come back, I'm gonna close this. Confirm, we saw that. We're gonna select testnet, bitmex. We're gonna put our secret in that we copied and then we're gonna go copy our ID and put our ID in there. And then we're gonna hit verify and scavenger bot is gonna run a test on this API to make sure it is in fact valid and after that comes back you should see all right so it said that it validated the api and now all you're going to do is you're going to name your bot so we're going to call this guy scrappy and then you're going to pick a direction so the way we like to uh the way we run these bots is we isolate them based on directions so that way uh you can run long and short simultaneously um with whatever strategy uh, you're having with the market making. In the future, this might change as well, but as for right now, we're just gonna select long and then we're gonna select the pair XBT USD uh, because Bitcoin USD is the only pair that we have available right now. That will also be changing in the future. Uh, so once you come in here, you're gonna see Scrappy is now on at read our balance. We have 0 0.2160. If you come over here, you see we have 0 0.2160. And uh, we have no open current position, which is correct. Okay, so now there's a bunch of other things that are new with version 2.0. If you hit on the settings bar, you're gonna see general settings where you can rename your bot if you want to. Contract adjustment. This is set automatically um, by default. So you can use this slider here to have it use a certain percentage of your balance or a certain uh, value of contracts. So just for this example, we're gonna pick 10 and max position size we're also going to use and we're going to say hey we don't want this to go over 25 percent of our balance all right and trailing stop loss you can set this so say we want to trail uh if we open a position we want a 250 dollar trail yeah and that will create if you look on all these things it's going to show you like help bubbles that show you what they mean so 
or you can head over to scavengerbot slash wiki and get more information on all the bot uh, functions. Uh, but this basically sets a trailing stop loss that will follow your, if the price continues to go up and along, it will move up with the price. So that way if price comes back down, uh, you won't incur as much loss. Uh, take profit this is also variable so you can set this where we want. We'll just set it at 15.5 uh, This should all, all be based off your strategy of course entry protection uh, This is all based off of RSI. You definitely want to read about this uh, it's, it's based off the one hour stoke RSI. So take some time to research how this works and uh, look into it and he, This is adjustable as well uh, so yeah, check out the wiki. We have a video on how this works as well. And it also, this is a new function which I like to use personally. Uh, it prevents entry. So this will not let the bot enter a position for you. And if you're a manual trader and you want to use this as an assistant, it will only start doing the things that you want it to do in, in micro DCA after you enter a position yourself. So you'd have to come over here and manually enter a position or use an alert, an external alert uh, uh, from TradingView or another bot or any any other method you want could could start a position for you with that. Um, but if you want Scavenger to open it, you would leave that off. And market change. This is basically uh, watching the the volatility. So you can set this however you want and say, hey, if it's moved, Bitcoin's moved five percent, we don't want it to buy, or you know we can just turn this off altogether. So whatever you want to do. I I don't use this personally anymore, uh, but you know, there's a lot of settings here you can use. And then Smart Channel. Smart Channel is pretty neat. And uh, basically, you can enact this after you get a certain position. So say you're running uh, 200 contracts. You don't want the bot to DCA you uh, unless price is moving. So then you can set a range. If you think about uh, Bitcoin as being on a chart, uh, your position is here and price is starting to move down, uh, maybe $10. You know, you can set when you would want that, where you, how far away you want a limit order placed after you get a certain uh, position size. So pretty cool. I usually use like 30 to 50 on that. Um, but yeah, these are all things that will be good to test and, uh, you know, will give a lot, like largely different results based off where you're using. But after you get all your settings set up, all you gotta do is hit play and it's gonna be like, are you sure you want to start your bot? And then you hit start and it will launch it up and uh, yeah, you're good to go from there. So that's how easy it is to start up a bot on Scavenger. And uh, if you guys have any questions, the best thing to do is to head over to the Discord. Um, absolutely. So all you have to do is go up here and click Get Support. And you can come into our Discord and ask questions and open support tickets, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's all we got for today. And we'll see you in the next video.